What if we wrote fraction division like this? Now, I know this looks really weird, so please hear me out. Let's start with something simpler. If I have eight cookies and I need to split it evenly with two people, how many cookies would each person get? Four cookies. I can divide both quantities by two or multiply both quantities by one half to get my answer. Now, what about this one? If six chips count as half a serving, how many chips count as one serving? 12 chips. I can multiply both quantities by two to get my answer. Okay, last one. If I can do eight laps in two thirds hours, how many laps can I do in one hour? Well, let's see. I need the denominator to be one. So two thirds times what equals one? Well, it's reciprocal, three halves. And when we multiply the denominator by three halves, we need to multiply the numerator by three halves as well. And when we do that, we get 12 laps per hour. So I see that eight times three halves gives me the same answer as eight divided by two thirds. So let's generalize this. When we have a fraction divided by a fraction, our goal is to make the denominator one to get our unit rate. And to do that, we would multiply both quantities by the reciprocal of the denominator. And when we do that, we see that a over b divided by c over d equals a over b times d over c, or keep change flip. Now, I am by no means saying to write it like this every single time. But if we write it like this a couple times, students can put context into fraction division, as in getting a unit rate, and students may see why keep change flip works.